Hi, this is Jason with Days Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to update password on eBay. Now you might need to update your password if you feel like someone hacked your system or you want to change the password just to be safe. You can um, do that easily in the eBay account. I'll show you how to do that. Also, I'm going to show you at the end how to, if you forgot your password, you can't get in, uh, kind of the steps you have to take to get your password reset. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. But before we get moving, hit the like button down below. It really helps out our channel. That's the thumbs up, not the thumbs down. It's the thumbs up. So click thumbs up. Pretend the thumbs down is not there. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new how-to videos we're doing. I'm trying to get more out for you guys because I know you like it. If there's a how-to video you want to learn something about, leads on eBay, this one, or other subjects, put it down below in the comments and I'll see what we can do. All right. Let's get to work on how to update password on eBay. So the first thing you want to do is obviously go to ebay.com. That's pretty straightforward. I already have a tab open for that. Then once you're in your ebay.com, you're going to want to sign in if you're not already signed in. I'm usually signed in, but I signed out to do this video. So I'm going to go over to the left at the top. You'll see the sign in. Click on that. Once you do that, it will take you to the sign in window. It will tell you you're at the top of under welcome. It's going to show you your username. I'm going to blur that out. <laughs> you don't need to see that. And then your password ends up down here. And if you click here, usually it will, if you saved your password, it will show you it, but type your password right down in here. And then once you I have to do this so that it shows it. So I choose that one because that's the one I need. And then I'm going to click sign in. And I like to stay signed in. So I click the check mark here. Now we're going to go in. And now it's going to take us into our eBay account. Now we're in our eBay account. Okay, we want to want to get to the account settings screen. That's the place we want to go. Two ways to get there, like I like to show you. I'll show you the quick way. You go up here to the top left, and you hover your, your mouse cursor right here above your name, and it pulls this menu up, and you hit account settings. The other way, which is the scenic route, is over here to the right, my eBay. Just click on my eBay or just click on summary, whichever you like. I like to click on summary. It takes me to this screen. And then we want to be under my eBay right here. You want to go over to account, the account tab right here. And that's that's exactly where this um, link at the top was going to take you straight to the screen right here. So you end up here either way. So there you go. Now, what we want to do is we're trying to update. So you're going to look for personal info on the left. And under this, you're going to look for sign in and security. And that's what we want. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to pop up in our sign-in security. So here is where you can get to the password, all the security features of your eBay account. The top one is one we're working with today. It's going to be modify your password. Now you go to the far right and hit edit next to that line. I'm going to edit it. And then it's going to give you this. So the same thing like before, you're going to put your current password in. I'm going to do that. And then you put in your new password and new password you can show your password to make sure you, you know what you're typing because sometimes i forget so i want to write it down and so i can remember what i'm doing and and then you enter it twice and then you hit submit and then your password is updated so that's how you do it when you go into your ebay account so if you get into your ebay account that is how you update your password change your password in here so make sure you put the current password then the new password and then the new password again and then hit submit and that's it that's as easy as it is i'm not going to change mine because i like my password right now okay so i know i change it every probably two months maybe maybe one month i'm usually paranoid so i change my passwords quite often <laughs> so that's okay um so that's an, and that's a good security thing to do to change your password often all right now that we know how to do it in your ebay account we want to jump out and pretend we forgot so we're going to log out. We're going to go up to the top left. We're going to go, I'm signing out. There you go. I'm signed out now. So now I'm, let's say I get on my computer. I'm like, oh man, I have been on eBay forever. And I've done that. I've been out of eBay for like over a year. And now I'm coming back. I might've forgot my password. So if you go up to sign in again, up the top left, it's going to pull this screen up. Now let's say this isn't here. This is all blank. So we're going to delete that. So it's blank. So there's no password here. You don't remember, remember what your password is. I'm going to show you what you do. What you do is you go to this need help signing in. It's pretty straightforward. You click on that and it gives you two choices. You can reset your password. Pretty much what we want to do or sign in without a password. We're going to do reset your password. So we're going to click on that one. And then what it's going to do, aha, here it is. Okay. So if it knows who you are, if you haven't cleared your cookies like crazy, this is the screen I get. Now you might get a different screen, but most of the time they're going to ask you for your email address or your phone number, your cell number. You can get a text, 
or you can get an email. If you do the email, it will give you a link in an email. So if you clicked on this, it will send it to the email they have on file for me. They recognize me because it's my browser. They track us, you know it. So you click this, it will send you an email and you'll hit the link on the email and then you'll do the same thing you did before in the last steps. You're gonna do update it, put your, or it will ask you for what's your new password now and you gotta put those two things in there. Now, if you do the text option, the text option just sends you a text with a uh, like a, I don't know how many digits they give you. Usually it's four to five digits. And then you would put that in and it'll give a different screen. So let's see if I want to receive, help me sign in. Let's receive a text. I'm going to do it right now. So we're going to receive a text. Now it sends it to my phone, which I have my phone in my hand. Thank goodness. Or I would not be in trouble. So the digits they give you are pretty straightforward. Uh, okay, it's six digits. I was off by one. So you type in your six digits. So you go, oh, I need to get in my account. So you do, oh, I need to do my account. Oh, that's not the number. So I'm going to get into my account. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit continue. So you do that. And it's, as you can tell at the top, it says your code is valid for five minutes. So it will go away. So I'm going to continue. And see now, enter your new password below. Now I have to new password. Ah, I, I caught myself on that. I'm going to do a new password for it. So I'm going to make up a password because I love making up passwords. So I'm going to write this down so I don't I'll have to put it on my password list. So give me just a moment to write this down or I'm going to be angry that I forgot what the heck it was. There we go. Okay, we'll do that. So we're going to do this password. And like I said before, you can actually hit the show so you know where you're at on your password because sometimes it's a pain when you are when you do that. So I just did my password. I'm going to hit continue. And da -da -da, there it is. Now I'm going to save it because I don't like to remember things. Congratulations, your password has been done. So I continue shopping. And see, now I'm logged in again. Uh, as you can say, so that's you can do it that way too. So I apologize, I was wrong. You actually can update your password by hitting that. Oh, actually, I was right. I'm back up with me, guys. Sometimes I miss things. So yes, that's how you do the updating of your password. Now, if I went back out, we're going to do that sign out. I want to show you this real quick because I think it's important. So let's say I forgot my password and I didn't choose the option. So I choose this option. Now you're going to get this because I don't have something set up like this, but if you click on this option, see, it gives you this option. It says text me a code, just like we did last time. Let us text you a code. Now let me show you something. There's something I have to show you. It's not showing it. I'm going to have to go into the account and show you guys. Um, here, let me sign into my account again. Now there's another option under security. So I'm going to go back to account settings. It didn't show it. In my article, if you go down below, I have my article link. Go look at that. Um, it actually shows a different screen where it tells you other options they give you for signing in and not only the text option. So here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. You can, there it is right here. Social accounts, link your social account for faster sign in, which makes sense. You do it Facebook, Apple, that that's fine. Or you can do it with face, your face. I don't know why we want to scan my face, fingerprint or pin sign in. The PIN sign-in was very interesting to me because that's actually, they'll use your PIN number you use to log into your Windows, which is weird. So there's other options. So if you had this option on here, it would actually off, you could actually sign in with those instead. So there's other options to sign in with instead of just a password. So if you wanted to connect to one of your Google, Facebook, or Apple, or you want to do it with fingerprint, PIN, if you have that already set up on your computer itself, like if it has a fingerprint identification, you could do that here too, or your phone, I guess. So that might work that way too. So that's another option for you to update passwords and make it more secure. But for this article, if you forgot your password, this is how you do it. And if you want to just modify your password, this top one is the one you want to choose. I uh, might a little bit confusing there, but that's how you do it. So this will probably give you just point in the right direction. It should show you how you, I should have shown you where to go. Hopefully I didn't lose you at the end there, but that's how you update your password on eBay. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.